Assalam o Alaikum students. How are you? I hope that you all are doing really well and taking very good care of yourself from these deadly virus. Okay, so today we will study social study of grade four. Today we are going to study social studies. And in our today's lecture, we will start a new lesson. The name of our lesson is Ancient and Modern Transport. In our today's lecture, we will discuss the ancient means. Take out your social studies books and open up page number 52. Okay, so have you ever taken a ride on an animal? Have you ever taken any ride on any animal? Which animal was it? How was it different from being in a vehicle like a car or a bus? If you have never taken a ride on any animal, so which animal would you like to ride on? Now we will discuss the animals as means of transport. Do you know that in earlier times, people walked or used carts? They used carts which are drawn by the animals to go to places. Sometimes people just rode on an animal like a horse, mule or camel. Yes, in earlier ages, people used carts and they also ride on horses, camels and mules. Let's start from horses. Human beings have been using horses for traveling for thousands of years. Soldiers traveled and fought battles on the horseback. Even today, people in many countries ride, ride on horses to travel and for sport. Tongas or horse carriages are pulled by the horses. You can see in this picture, this is a horse carriage or tonga. So we have been using horses for thousands of years. Soldiers have fought a lot many battles on the back of horse. So the next animal is donkey. But before donkey, let's know more. That is on page number 52. Do you know that reindeers is a kind of deer and they are used to draw cards without wheels on snow? Yes, this card can run or can move without, without wheels. Such cards are known as sleep and they are commonly used in the Polar regions for transport. They are used in polar regions for transport. Okay, so the next animal is donkeys and mules. In many places, people use mules and donkeys to transport goods and to ride on. They are very sturdy animals. They can carry heavy loads and can walk on hills. They are even known as beast of burden. They are also known as beast of burden. Now camels. A camel can tolerate the harsh weather conditions. Do you know that? The camel can survive in very tough and in very harsh weather conditions. It can also go without food and water for long stretches of time. That is why since ancient times, chemical, uh, camels have been used for traveling and transportation in the desert around the world. Large groups of people travel in camel caravans across the deserts. Elephants Elephants were used by kings. Elephants were used were by kings. Animals like elephants 
are used to ride on they have been used in the battlefields yes elephants have also been in the battlefields for the hunting trips even today you may get an elephant ride if you go to a zoo elephants are also used to carry heavy logs of wood because they are too large and they can easily carry the weight of wood okay page number 53 now we will discuss the last animal that is oxen a cart driven by oxen or bull is known as bullock or bullock carts these bullock carts are used even today in villages in pakistan to go from one place to another place to carry goods look at the picture these are oxen these are oxen now class please note down your homework make title page in your notebook and paste or draw you can draw and you can paint as well and you can paste the pictures so you have to make a title page in your notebook and paste or draw some pictures of ancient and modern transport and read page number 54 okay till then thank you allah hafiz